Hey everybody, it's Derek from CodeOpinion.com. Today I'm going to take a look at how you can create API documentation for your C-sharp projects using YM. Using YM is really, really easy to get started. So I'm just going to show you how you can download the package and create some API docs pretty quickly for your project. So head over to ym.io, and what we're actually going to do from there is um, go to their GitHub. So under the releases, there's a few files that you can download. For this demo, what I'm going to use is the zip file, because uh, it has the executable inside of it, all the dependencies that are needed, everything's self-contained there. But if you, can prefer, if you prefer, you can also download the installer, which is the set.exe. All right, so this is unzipped, and I just have this on my desktop for right now. And what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to open PowerShell, and I'm going to execute the ym.exe. So you can just see, we'll run help. And from there, you should just get some basic usage about building, new, and preview, and help, just to see that the actual exe is working. So by convention, if there's an SRC folder where we're actually going to be running the YMAXC, that's the directory it's going to be looking for for our actual C Sharp code. So for the example here, what I'm going to use is I'm going to pull down the Nancy FX uh, source code uh, into YM so we can use that as kind of the base for the docs that we're going to build. So I'm going to make a SRC folder, like I said, um, that's by convention. And then I'm just going to pull this down. We'll pull Nancy down here. We have all Nancy checked out. All right, so now I'm going to initialize um, this project. So by doing so, I can call the ymexc with um, the new command uh, and specify that we want to essentially create uh, some new docs here. So what I can do is new, and then I'm going to specify uh, a recipe. That's what the dash R is. So YM has a few different recipes for creating like a blog, for example. One of the other ones is for API docs. So that is just called docs. So this is basically going to create a basically a download on the NuGet packages and basically build up um, for our new project. So once I've done that uh, and everything's done, then I can actually run a build. Now this is going to be basically looking at that SRC folder by convention and building up our actual static HTML files now. So now that our build's done, we put everything in an output directory. So we just check the output directory here. We can see our static files such as index.html. So now that we have our files, we want to take a peek at them. There's a really cool feature within YM that has a little web server that enables you to browse uh, your files. So you can do this by running the preview command. And we can see that it fired up a little web server running on port 5080. So if we just jump back over to our browser and we go to 5080, we can see now we're hitting our index HTML, and if we go under API, we can see all our API docs now for Nancy, and they look awesome. That's it. That's how easy and simple and painless it is to get started with creating API docs using YM. Check out ym.io. Check out the GitHub. There's a ton you can do with this. Um, I think it's a, a great tool that I'm going to explore a little bit more. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up, and please subscribe for more .NET related videos. Thanks.